Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, different types of, YouTube configurations. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Lite, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. So before we understand how to calculate the thickness of a tube sheet, let us try to understand the configuration. Okay, because based on configuration, your calculation will follow. Okay, Con ca configurations are pretty simple. Don't uh, worry about that. So first of all, I think you know, this is the typical sketch for a YouTube type heat exchanger. Oh, this is the channel side, shell side, yes, BEU. There is pink color is the tube sheet. Okay. Uh, now, this is one configuration which you see here. We'll talk about this. So, there are saddles, nozzles, you know, lug attached to that. Simple configuration. Okay. Now, once I say uh, we are going to talk about configuration, then basically what we are going to talk about is this. This, how the tube sheet is connected with channel side and also the shell side. Okay. So, this configuration basically your channel is having a flange, your shell is also having a flange, and your tube sheet is sandwiched. It's not integral. When it, uh, it is integral, that means integral means welded. Okay. So, integral word. In code means welded. So once it is integral, so either it, it will be integral with channel, then it will become channel side integral. Second, it may be even integral with shell side. Okay. So we'll talk about the different because that is also possible. You'll say, why not? You know, why not to weld this tube sheet, you know, make it integral with the channel? It is possible. You know, that configuration is also possible. So that is what we are going to talk about. Okay. So, this is the first configuration. What exactly this is? Double integral. So, integral with shell also, integral with channel also. Okay. Uh, so, this is channel. This side is shell. Okay. And this is my tube sheet. Okay. So, it is welded. That means it, it is integral, NEN. Okay. So that is what we are talking about. So don't, if you are not aware of NEN configuration, all, don't worry about that. That is not what we are going to talk about. You can refer Tema for that. Basically, this is one way. You know, uh, my tube sheet can be attached to shell and channel. Okay. So completely welded, both side integral. Okay. Now, what can be this is the configuration A? Just remember no, configuration name. So configuration A means both side welded. What do you think configuration B will be? Just you know for curiosity, what will be configuration B? If configuration A is both side welded, what can be the second variation? One side welded. So these are the dimension. Don't worry about that. Uh, so other, it can be one side welded. Okay. So one side may be, you know, channel side. Okay. So, uh, or it can be shell side. So both variations. So if B is shell side, then C might be the channel side, right? I hope you're able to get this. Okay. So channel side also may be other variation, but don't know whether C or something else. Okay. So we'll see that. So B is a tube sheet integral with shell. Okay. So we will bolt it and our configuration is ready. Okay. Don't worry about dimensions. Now C. Still it is integral with shell. But what is the difference between B and C? What is the difference between B? Lab joint. Okay. So in B. The tube sheet was extended as flange, the right word. Okay. So in B, it was extended as flange. In C, it is not extended. It is a lap joint. 
okay it's not sandwich type sachin okay it's not sandwich uh, sandwich type it may be split ring okay but it is not a sandwich type because sandwich type definition is uh, this what we saw in the first one right that will also come so this is type c okay. i hope uh, you got it See, there are different uh, terminology lots of terminology we are using just try to keep it very simple okay don't worry about uh, remembering this thing because this is already there okay in code so you don't have to remember just try to see you know what are uh, different variation possible you know and then uh, we'll try to form some logic see these calculations and uh, you know the formula which you see which are going to come uh, they are uh, really difficult to understand that to get meaning out of it okay because uh, we as an engineer if you see a calculation like we see a bending formula you know, we try to relate okay uh, this is how the bending is happening and you know uh, uh, there will be stresses at the top there will be tensile bottom it will be compressive so we try to understand the formula right once the formula becomes bigger it becomes really difficult to uh, extract meaning so that we understand what exactly they are trying to do so we'll try to relate you know somehow something okay so so that at least you know overall you know what is happening you know great so good to go so tube sheet uh integral with shell but not extended as a flange that is my c type okay now d what is this d type flanged both sides that is what we'll call yeah imanshu sandwich okay sandwich tube sheet okay tube sheet is not extended right uh the there are flange so flange is different the nomenclature is based on tube sheet okay you try to notice that so definitely there are flange they have to be flange two flange has to be there then only we'll be able to uh you know bolt if you are doing bolting okay so in first configuration it was completely welded so no flange was there other than that we see always two flange so either my tube sheet will be extended and will act as a flange or there will be two separate flanges like we see now so this is my d type bolted okay now in d type there can be two different types uh first where uh, we saw the first figure okay if you see slightly change here you know, here yes akash so here my tube sheet is just you know up to this point up to the face you know uh you will see the configuration if you have gone through tima you know you know this is a con this creates a confined joint okay uh now it may happen that it is extended okay now why sometimes we may prefer extended there are reasons for that we'll see that but don't complicate here there can be two different configuration okay you know why sometimes uh, we use it at extended that is the hydro okay great so uh, the d will be two variation having two variation one is uh, just a tube sheet and second is extended great now e type now you know if we are going in the opposite direction okay uh, that is now the tube sheet is integral with channel okay it may be uh, you know one pass you know, we see there is no uh partition plate uh here true but you know um we are uh, studying the configuration okay so integral with channel tube sheet integral with channel that is what uh, you know this configuration just by you know if i say tube sheet integral with channel you should be able to draw this configuration okay so you don't have to remember just by uh, uh knowing the name you'll be able to draw if you understand integral means welded okay so this is type e now f opposite to c okay uh where the tube sheet is integral with channel but there is a lap uh, type of flange which is there okay so it will be bolted so this is f type okay now what are the common configuration for a youtube okay now if you know uh you try to figure out whether we can have all the configuration possible for youtube type heat exchanger okay 
whether I can have all the configuration which we saw. It is given in code, all the configuration for YouTube. But in practically, can we have? See, you may have something which is uh, uh, may use, you know, but commonly for common but the code is very generic. So it gives everything. Okay. Uh, but which one will not be there? If we talk about this, can I have a YouTube configuration with F type? Yes. Great. Yes, we can have. Can I have C type? Can I have a C type? Yes. Can I have E type? Yes. Can I have this D type? D type anyway we saw it is possible. C type. Can I have a C type for YouTube heat exchanger? See if uh, I have a YouTube definitely see if it is given it can have but practically uh, in most of the cases what will happen see if this is a youtube tube bundle we cannot take it out right tube bundle removal will become problem so you uh, know we will not be able to clean that tube bundle okay so very rarely you will see, but you it may find some uses, you know, some application. We don't know. So that is the reason code is given, but this is not what you see typically, the C type. Okay. So basically, all this configuration where tube sheet is integral with shell, that become doubtful for your U bundle. Okay, when you are talking about U type heat exchanger, all this A, B, C. When it is uh, integral with channel, that is possible. Okay. Uh, but that type, you will always try, like, if this is my configuration, let us say this is my configuration. What type of joint will be there in uh, this? Whether you use a descend or you will use a flange with blind cover, dish or flange. See, uh, simple. If I if I provide a uh, decision, then how will be able to access my tube sheet? This uh, tube to tube sheet area will completely become blind. Okay. So we'll try to use if we are using a bolted connection, we'll be able to access, right? So we can clean, we can replace tubes. Okay. If it is uh, YouTube, it becomes uh, it is not possible to replace, but at least we can do plug in. So all those things, okay. So all logic, you know, nothing trivial. So just uh, apply logic, and you'll be able to relate. So commonly used uh, configuration A is not commonly used. Your it it may be used for uh, in when you have a very toxic material. It's very clean, but it's kind of lethal. You may have A, but typically you will not see A type application. B, D, and E are common types. So you will see, you know, mainly these configuration, not even B. Okay. I don't know why uh, this B is coming here. I think you know, some configuration uh, confusion. B will not be there because tube sheet cannot be integral with, means basically will not use this. So either we'll have D type or we'll have E type. Okay. So D and E are commonly used. A and B are not commonly used. Okay. For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.